So when we started developing the True Bike, there were no indoor smart bikes uh, available. And we realized that in order for this to be successful, the bike had to be almost identical to an outdoor bike. I wanted it to be because I wanted to train on it and it needed to feel exactly like riding outdoors. So we opted for a very narrow frame, three and a half centimeters wide or one and a half inch. We opted for normal cranks that you find on an outdoor bike. So that means that the Q factor is identical to what you would have on your outdoor bike. Also, we decided for handlebars that were aerodynamic handlebars because they're more comfortable and for brakes that allowed for electronic shifting and electronic braking and even cooler, if you squeeze one of them, you can use them to steer. So why did we opt for a bike and not a trainer like everybody else when we started? Well, the reason is twofold. One of them is that I broke my own bike on a trainer and then when I looked at the warranty, I found out that on a carbon frame, typically you lose your warranty if you use it in a trainer. And the other thing is, I really got sick and tired of bringing my dirty bike into my house, putting it on my trainer, getting my hands dirty, and then if I wanted to ride outside, I had to reverse the process. And also, as we developed the bike, we realized that having a bike in your house at the other point is also taking up a lot of space. So we made it extremely easy to move it. So you just pick it up and you just take it wherever you want to go. Easy as that. So you're probably wondering, does the true bike work with my favorite cycling app like Zwift or Ruby or what have you? And the answer is yes. If your app works with any smart trainer, it works with the true bike because the true bike also supports the Ant Plus and Bluetooth fitness equipment protocols. So the idea behind the true bike is that you can modify it to fit exactly with your road bike because adjusting it is so easy even if you have multiple bikes, like a mountain bike, a road bike, and a time trial bike, you can easily adjust it to that exact fitting. You can move your saddle forward and backward, um, forward for your time trial bike, backwards for your racing bike. You can uh, obviously adjust the height of the saddle. You can order your true bike with a given set of crank lengths. And obviously the same thing you can do with your handlebars. You can move them forward, backwards, and up and down to recreate the exact seating position that you have on your road bike. Also, another cool feature is because you log into this bike really with an account, as you can see here, the bike also remembers the gear set that you're using. So depending on which type of ride you wanna do, you can change your gear set either for a mountain stage or for a flat ride. And you can choose those gear sets from our web shop where we have over 400 gears waiting for you. So one of the reasons why you want to train indoors is to get better at mountain stages uh, in the summer, especially handy if you're living in an area where there are no mountains or in winter when it's just simply too cold to train into, in the mountains. So you can uh, change that with an app, but also just change it by hand. And in order to make it feel as realistic as possible, we made it a very easy and very sturdy to stand up while the bike is still flexible enough to make it feel very realistic as you're cycling. So with the display, we show you a ton of data and it gives you all the data you need. For instance, heart rate, power, cadence, you name it. And you can review all that data either in the history menu on the bike, you can review it on your athlete's account or you can have it uploaded automatically to Training Peaks or Strava. At True Kinetics, we realize we all have an impact on the environment. So we try to reduce ours the best we can. So we use recycled plastics as much as we can for the covers and for other plastic parts. And also, as you're cycling, you're generating energy. And we've designed the system such that that energy is stored in an internal battery. So you never have to plug the bike in as long as you keep cycling. So as you're cycling, you're charging the bike, but if you need to top up the battery, you can have a power mains adapter attached here.